teenager that is accused of stabbing the Uber driver, the lady from Tijuana, right? She witnesses says she ran off blood off blood on her shirt. Cops followed the blood trail. They caught her. Well, she's pleading not guilty. Um, I don't think that's a smart thing to do as an attorney because you know that you uh, that they have all the evidence in the world. And then the punishment is going to be even more severe. Now, this is a teenager. I don't know why so many teenage um, murders, assaults, carjackings committed, carried out by teenagers. What is going on? And what is Uber and Lyft doing about it? What are they doing about it, right? They always kick in afterwards and say, oh, well, you know, um, from the spokesman, are we cooperating with the law? What, what are you doing before this actually happens, Uber and Lyft? of stabbing an Uber driver to death in National City made her first court appearance this morning. Police found 58-year-old Raquel Weber dying from stab wounds in her car Tuesday afternoon. News 8's Chris Grove joining us live now with more on what happened in court here today. Chris? And while the team did make her first appearance in court today, it was a virtual conference. And then even then, that teen, whose name, again, is still being withheld due to the fact that she is under the age of 18, is being charged so far as a juvenile, was on the phone for the duration of this hearing. So it's not as if we got a chance to even uh, see this teen. But we didn't even hear her speak. Her lawyer did say, though, that they are entering a denial of the charge. It's important to point out that's basically the same as pleading not guilty. It's only different because it's juvenile court, so there's different terminology. But again, she is denying the charges there that have been really? brought against her for murdering uh, and stabbing. This lady's gone. Does anybody have the GoFundMe page? Please send, send it to me. I want to help support Weaver this family. Was found in her Please car send me the GoFundMe page. City, bloody and unresponsive. She was working again as an Uber driver at the time of her death. Police believe she was completing a trip nearby. That's what brought her into the area. They say they're working to obtain a search warrant right now to access her Uber account to try and obtain they have to, they have more to get a information. Search warrant. So such Uber's as not who cooperating the trip on this. Is something and if fishy. the girl was in the car at any point in time during the day. We also know that her husband was a part of this virtual hearing as well, too. Uh, but again, uh, we only heard from the judge as well as the girl's attorney. So again, we are waiting to see exactly whether or not uh, this teen potentially could have those charges accelerated uh, into adult court. It's not clear also if the two knew each other at this time, but she is expected back in court on July 20th. Folks, they're not doing anything about it. We have to do something about it. Right. We know that the two biggest issues facing us, millions of gig workers, are safety and better pay. We need better pay. Right. Those are our two biggest issues. I think we've established that. Now on safety, this is you. This is your life. This is the next person's life. This is the person that's going to die tomorrow and the next day. Right. We have to take the power into our own hands. We need the support of big law firms. I am willing to use my channel as a free advertising outlet for a major law firm, recruiting them drivers, if they step in and help us on this issue of safety. We have to prove to the courts, to the judges, that Uber is not, and Uber and Lyft are not doing anything about this. That they're only kicking in afterwards and saying, oh, we'll cooperate with the law. Before this even happens, Daryl Koshashawi, before this even happens, John Zimmer, you have so much blood on your hand. Is because you are not spending money on safety. You're kissing the butts of those investors. You are doing everything else but keeping your driver community safe. And we have to take the matter into our own hands. I want you to fight relentlessly. This is like my number one cause, right? I don't want to see people die. I don't want to see statistics. I don't want to see you end up in a statistic, right? There's one of the main reasons I pulled out of Uber and Lyft and started doing private trips because I know those individuals. I can vet them myself, right? Uber is not vetting them. Apparently, those riders, there was a man and this teenager that apparently, and you know, I could be wrong here, but the word is that he had been kicked off the platform before. Why is this individual back on? Why is a teenager a disturbed teenager getting a trip. 
right? There's so many things that don't add up here, right? Why was this crime carried out? What had, what did this man have to do with the fact that did he order this teenager to commit the crime? What's going on here, right? And we have to now subpoena the records from Uber to find out the truth because they're not cooperating on this matter. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had enough. I don't know if you've had enough, but I've had enough of these killings, right? Help me do something about it. Help me stand up, get these stories out into social media. The more social media, the more pressure. Maybe, maybe these guys will wake up and smell the coffee, right? Unacceptable, folks. Now, an attorney that I think highly of, and this is really related to accidents. God forbid, I hope you never get into an accident. But if you get hurt in an accident or your riders, please reach out to Legal Rideshare, right? The number one um, law firm that handles accidents nationwide. Head up Brian Greening, mention my name. If you are with a current attorney and the wheels are turning slow and they're not doing anything for, for you, change gears, go to Legal Rideshare. They will definitely take care of you. They're also phenomenal when it comes to deactivations, right? They will kick in and help you get your account back. Be safe out there and take care. And please be alert at all times and buy yourself a dash cam today.